So my interests are primarily around beaches and beach and coastal change. And so I study coastal change on timescales ranging from centuries down to individual storm events. And so um, a particular research uh, focus is on the hazards that beaches um, experience, such as erosion and flooding. And so we try to understand how that, what that looks like today with different communities up and down the coast, but also what the impact of climate change will be on the magnitude and frequency of those hazards. One fairly exciting study that uh, my group is working on now is working um, at a county scale, and particularly Tillamook County, Oregon, and we're understanding and, 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 and thinking about the hazards that they're experiencing now in terms of flooding and erosion hazards, and we're also looking at the impacts of climate change. Now what's interesting about this particular study is that not only are we looking at the, the physical hazards, so you know, developing models for um, how high water levels get, what they do to beaches, how much beach erosion might occur. We're also incorporating what's there in terms of the physical environment today in terms of infrastructure, roads, and what gets impacted by those hazards now. But we're also really working very closely with um, a variety of stakeholders at the coast. And so we're working with local citizens and citizen groups, county officials, state planners, mayors of individual towns within Tillamook County. And we're actually working with them to uh, really develop tools and information for adaptation planning. So, you know, with climate change, um, it's expected that with things like sea level rise, potential changes in storminess, that the amount of erosion and flooding that we uh, experience in today's coast is going to potentially get worse. We're modeling the physical and kind of the social factors in a computing environment that's uh, called Envision. And you can think of Envision as basically a dynamic GIS, and so we can actually allocate where people live and where the infrastructure is on the landscape within the model, and then we incorporate into that model, into that uh, dynamic GIS, our f models of the coastal hazards and predict erosion and flooding now and then what that might look like into the future. And so if we want to continue to live, work, and play at the coastline like we do today and, and keep the coast as we value it today, then we're going to potentially have to adapt to this climate change. And so this information, these, these, this, these tools, this, the model output, is providing, um, again, a range of stakeholders, you know, anywhere between individual citizens up to the actual county commissioners, state planners, giving them this information such they can actually develop potentially new policy or at least implement existing policy uh, such that we can actually adapt to these changes that are coming.